This movie has a good premise with plenty of potential. It has good visuals as it has eye-catching cinematography and production design to make everything look dazzling. Unfortunately, everything else is disappointing. This movie in general is basically a mess. It's repetitive, overstuffed, and a grating exercise that beats you down with its relentless self-indulgence. The movie has more is more vision that often plays like a smug and shameless vanity project. It's a movie smitten with its own sense of grand scale and apparently pledged to the belief that the best way to depict unbridled decadence is to drown its audience in unbridled decadence. The audience is made to suffer through shock for the sake of shock value. It's a choice that wastes so much time relishing the excess and not nearly enough on its characters and their stories. With such a big cast of overwhelming characters, the movie feels like too much. While the three main performances are actually decent, the movie is far more interested in using them for its showier self-interest rather than giving any of their characters enough depth for us to care. There are many underdeveloped characters in this movie, which puts most of the emphasis on the antics of Nelly and Jack. It doesn't help that the film's plots are also very weak. The story is lacking because there are too many elements at play. It's simply bloated and unwieldy. Everything here doesn't add up too much of a cohesive story. It's just a lot of scenes strung together like a pointless and rambling venture. This movie is about the beginnings of the film industry, but it's not informative nor entertaining. It plays sloppily with period facts and it makes this venture feels lazy. This movie isn't overly long movies about people behaving badly that don't have much else to say. This overlong train wreck is just a series of scenes showing hollow people acting vain and stupid while indulging in sex, illegal drugs, and unrelenting shallowness. To make it worse, most of these characters have very few redeeming qualities. Nelly, for example, her self-destructive behavior is consistent, but after three hours of that, on top of all the other chaos in this movie, audiences will grow tired and it makes it really hard to root for her. Jack is the closest we get to a fully fleshed out character, but even with him, most of the details are either confined to two or three brief scenes or left out altogether. And then there's Manny, who should be our connection to the story, but who is mostly relegated to standing off to the side. Overall, this movie is simply a major disappointment. We do not recommend this movie at all.